Hello, and welcome to this Chalton House study day on the 18th century poet William Cooper, Jane Austen's favourite writer in verse, according to her brother. My name is Kim Simpson, and I'm the postdoctoral fellow at Chalton House, and it's my absolute pleasure to introduce today's talks. So in what follows, you'll go firstly to Cooper's home in a video from the Cooper and Newton Museum. And then you'll hear a little bit about the return of William Cooper to Chawton House. So the event that sparked this day was the return of a very special first edition of Cooper's 1782 volume Poems, the very copy owned by Jane Austen's brother Edward and held in his library at Gopnisham Park, where Austen herself was a frequent visitor. What follows after that is a series of short presentations given by Cooper scholars across the world that touch on important aspects of his life and themes of his work. His legacy, his abolition poetry, his faith, his attitude to landscape and gardens, his important poem The Task and his influence on Jane Austen's works. We round off the day with a live conversation on Zoom, generously co-hosted by the Jane Austen House, in which we talk to Professor Nicola Watson about Authors House Museums. This will be interspersed with readings from the actor Sam West. The talks are set to premiere in the order that you'll see in the programme below, but with the exception of the final event, you're free to dip in and out at your leisure, as they will remain online after today, and there should be room for cups of tea along the way. You'll also see selected additional resources listed under each talk, and these are by no means exhaustive, but should give you leads to follow up and links to material mentioned in the talks themselves. Today marks 221 years since Cooper died, but I hope that over the course of this day, you'll get a sense of the ways in which he's still very much a poet for our times, and I hope that you enjoy getting to know him as much as I have in putting this event together. Thank you for 